Hello, all my artists are all ready to draw. Pete the cat, grab a piece of paper and something to draw with. I'm gonna use a marker because it shows up a little bit better, but feel free to use a pencil first, just in case you want to erase. You're gonna hold your paper vertically, tall, like a tall building, and we're gonna start at the top with Pete's ears. We just talked about shapes, and Pete's ears are triangles. So I'm gonna draw a top of a triangle on one side, and a top of a triangle on the other side. I'm not gonna draw the bottoms because we need to connect his ears to his head. I'm gonna connect these two lines with a straight line. And then I'm going to make this side come down a little longer and matching it on the other side. All right, Pete's head then ends with a diagonal line on both ends for his chin, all right? So there's Pete's head. We're gonna give Pete a nose with another triangle, but pointing down this time. So straight, kind of like a letter V. And we're gonna go right up about to the middle. We're gonna make Pete's eyes. It's gonna be a curved line over to one side and a bigger curve underneath. Pete's eyes are really big. I do the same thing on this side. Curve and a bigger curve underneath. Half circle up the top, another half circle. For his face, for most of Pete, whatever I do on one side, I'm doing on the other side. Another half circle in there and on the other side. I am gonna fill in with my marker in between. You can always do this later with a marker, a pencil, a crayon, a pen, whatever you have. All right, so there's most of Pete's face and we're gonna Pete some whiskers. Pete's got a lot of whiskers. Some are longer, some are short. They're not even or exact. All right, so there's Pete's whiskers. In the book we listened to, Pete was wearing a shirt with buttons. We're gonna draw him wearing a shirt. So I'm gonna draw a rectangle on one side under his face and a rectangle on the other side under his face. That's gonna become the collar of his shirt. And I'll connect with the letter V. Then I'm gonna draw a straight line coming down on one side, straight line on the other side. On the bottom, a rectangle, that's the cuff of Pete's shirt. And then I'm going to draw, not all the way back up, that'll be Pete's front legs. Now I'm gonna go back up to this V, and make a little short line. We're gonna do some groovy buttons for Pete. I'm going to make little holes in here so it looks like a real button where you'd sew it on. Make another little line. Now in the book, all of Pete's buttons were circles. But since we were talking about shapes, why don't you try to make Pete have some different shape buttons, whatever shape you like. I hope you can fit four buttons like in the story. See how you do. All right, and then I'm gonna come down a little bit. All right, so I've got Pete's face, Pete's shirt. Coming out of Pete's front legs, we're gonna finish his legs with two straight lines, kind of a half a circle. Same thing on this side and half a circle. I'm gonna make the bottom of Pete's shirt right here, and then the bottom of Pete's body. Pete has one more thing, a tail. It can go on either side. I'm gonna come out from the side of his body, curl around, and I'm gonna curl back around to touch his body. There's Pete. I cannot wait to see your Pete's. Bye, my artist.